Eastern PA fishing, another backwoods adventure. What is cracking you fishing, Jim Oaks? Eastern PA fishing here. We are making our way to a secret spot on a secret creek, and we are definitely gonna catch ourselves some fish today. I have not been to this creek in over two years, so I do not know what to expect, but the last time I was there, the fishing was pretty good. Should be a good episode. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, please scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button, also subscribe if you haven't already. Used to be a fishing here. You know what it is by now. I'm about to crash into a tree. Let's get right to the fishing. Man, I am telling you guys, the weather is absolutely just great out here. Middle of September, couldn't ask for much better. Fall is about to be here. I think it's actually, what, next Thursday? It's fall, first day of fall. Always seems like spring and summer go so fast and then fall is here before you know it. It is an exciting time of year. Now, a lot of the smaller creeks do get a little washed out during the heavy rains and fall, but that doesn't mean there still aren't a ton of fish hanging out and ready to be caught. So if you're like me and you can't always wear waders, sometimes you gotta rock the rubber boots and the shorts. It's always nice to keep moving when you're walking through tall weeds just to keep the ticks and bugs off you. Try not to give them the opportunity to get you. Once they get you, it's too late. Forgot what a trek it was to get back here. I think I can see the creek. I'm gonna lay our bike down here. I don't think anybody's gonna come back here and find it. And we made it. Look at this little creek, guys. There isn't much here, but I guarantee you, there's something here and we are gonna catch it today. Might have to go in and out of the water to traverse some of this. Gonna have to fight our way through a jungle just to get down to the creek, pop in and out of spots. Now, a lot of this stuff that I am walking through is seven minute itch, but I feel like I've almost gotten somewhat of a tolerance to it. I am just trudging along here, making my own path. On my way back, I'll probably just walk most of the creek because at that point I will have fished it already. Seven minute itch in my armpit, that's no good. Was it worth it coming all the way down here? Freaking better be. Oh, well there's some fish. How am I gonna get down here? Probably not very gracefully. Yeah, not bad. Ooh, what is chilly? Feels good on the seven minute itch though. Look at this little creek. I don't think there's too many people fishing this. Whole bunch of minnows there in the water. Saw a couple little sunfish here and there. Might be a few bass hanging around. Should be a good little day of fishing guys. If there are any fish to be caught, will eat just pretty much about anything I throw out there. So I'm not too worried about presentation today. Just wanna have something that's enticing. Nice little pocket over here. Probably some fish hanging around. These fish have probably never seen anything. Ooh, man, right away something hit that. It's probably nothing too big hanging out here. We gotta start somewhere. Oh, there we go, first fish of the day. What do we got here? Oh man, wow. He's no giant by any means, don't get me wrong. But that is a nice little fish for this tiny little creek. I think I see some more out there too. Let's get this guy back. Get another cast out there. And this is just the first hole of many. So we have some potential to catch some decent fish here today. Well, all right, that's the first hole and right around the way, looks like we have another one right here. Not bad, off to a good start. No, it wasn't a giant, but a fish is a fish when you're fishing a creek like this. Let's see if we can poke in and out of a couple more holes here. Man, I'm excited now, guys. Man, I really have to walk around these holes. I can't just walk this creek since it's so shallow, scare everything out there. Sometimes these little creeks can really surprise you. So much life in these tiny little creeks. Well, we're seeing more fish than we are catching so far. This is only the second hole, so it's not really that big of a deal. But I'm wondering if my presentation is just a little too odd for these fish. Pretty sure they aren't seeing too many things with a yellow head, a red body, and a yellow tail floating down the creek. You can always get some of them to react to it, but if you're not using something that they're used to feeding on, chances are you probably just won't catch fish after fish. Like I'm trying to today. Good spot here. Definitely have to capitalize on where I cast from. I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit. I think we're gonna have to hit it from the back. Got some yum dingers. Definitely gonna have to cut these down to size, especially cause I'm probably gonna be lazy and just throw them on that jig head there. Alrighty, a little piece of a dinger here. <laughs> Sounds a little silly. Now this stupid little rig will probably catch everything in here. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, didn't even realize it, fish on. Green sunfish to be expected. Well, I'm sure there's about 80 of you guys down there. Fish number two. Might have to pick through a couple fish here and there till we get to the ones we want to catch. Oh, there we go. Feels all right. And this guy smoked it. And yeah, red breast this time. 
That's a big red breast, though. Give me that back, dude. Come on. Doesn't want to let go. Oh. Something took a chunk out of you. Freaking zombie red breast down here. Three fish in the bag. Nothing too exciting so far. Let's keep fishing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, he came off. That's all right. It's like no chance to even catch any of the bass out of here. These little sunfish are just going ham. Oh. Ah, oh, man. Something nice on there. Let's make our presentation a little bit bigger. We're trying to rule out some of these smaller fish here. That should do it. Put a little bit of a bigger jig head on there. Not exactly too sure of the size, but that right there should definitely do the trick. Let's see if we can catch some of these bigger fish hanging around. Although this isn't one of them, we will take him just the same. Red breast sunfish. Well, I know I'm not catching a ton of giant fish, but I'm definitely out here catching a bunch of fish. One thing to be said about this tiny little creek is who the heck else is out here fishing this? I'll tell you who, nobody, just me. I mean, there might be a couple here and there. What do we got here? Oh man, trying to rule out the freaking panfish here. Now we're just catching gigantic panfish. Look at that, man. Trying to rule them out and they're just swallowing the whole thing. Whoa. Well, everybody, this spot has been very generous to us, but I think it's time to head upstream some more Go hit some more spots, hopefully catch some bigger fish. Looking for some more smallies. Looks like we have another spot here. Oh, we got something on there. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. Oh, look at that. First largemouth of the day. Well, of course this little dude mega choked it, but we got him unpinned. Oh, and he's good to go. Right under that structure there. All right, so we have small mouth, we have large mouth, we have red breast, and we have green sunfish. Four species in the bag so far. Nothing quite the right home about, but for this tiny little creek that we're fishing today, I will take it. So now I know I said that I'm probably the only person fishing this creek, but another cool thing to think about is that I am probably the only person that's actually been back here in years. Since I said I haven't been back here in over two years, I mean, who else is traversing through all this stuff? Is your will that strong? Comment down below. Would you do this? Risk it for the biscuit? Mother Nature is not making it easy. Oh, red breast. These guys are present everywhere in this tiny little creek. How ferocious they are too. It's like we got a little pool here. I am literally fishing everything on this creek. Never know where there's gonna be a fish. Well, I guess you do because the fish are just going to be everywhere. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Another red breast. Jeez Louise. Once again, our friend Mr. Redbreast Sunfish has showed up to the party uninvited. Just kidding. You're always welcome, Mr. Redbreast Sunfish. We do not discriminate on the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel. Ay, ay, ay. Other side of the log for you. Alrighty, let's try this little hole. Ooh, I see something out there. Oh man, there's a nice small mouth out there. But the gigantic red breast gets the worm. And toss him downstream. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? Oh, look at that. Fifth species of the day. We have a big old creek chub. Man, look at the size. Oh! Well, it was a sizable creek chub, believe me, everybody. Oh, silly turds. Well, five species for the day. Not a bad haul. Yep, there we go. Oh man, we must have found a little hole of these guys. There's another sizable creek chub too. There we go, look at that dude. Ugly little fish. Probably a little school over here of them. You can almost catch them over and over again. You can find little pockets of them. Stupid, hungry little fish. Oh, <laughs> there we go, yeah. There's definitely a little pocket of these guys over there. But they're getting smaller and smaller, so we're not gonna stick around to find out. Another little creek chub, see you, dude. Making our way to the next spot. Not really too sure how much further we're gonna go here. Seems like the freaking panfish here are just so ferocious, there's no opportunity for anything else to eat. And of course, 
in every little hole we've come across today, there are some sunfish present. Green sunfish. Caught a handful of those guys today. And there we go. There's another green sunfish. I think we're gonna cross the creek here. Doesn't look like we're scaring much. It's cool to see all those fish hanging around that structure there. Just that little bit of wood in the water holds a ton of little fish. Kinda didn't realize this was a hole here. I wrecked it a little bit. Let's see if we can get something to bite. Probably not at this point. Oh, maybe we can. Here we go. Oh, Creek Chub City. Bet there's a billion of them down there. Another chub on the map. Looks like we might be coming up on another spot. Oh man, I don't know what to tell you about the small fish, guys. Fish in a small creek. What do you expect? Oh, fish on. Red breast. Ah, yay, yay. Come on, guy. Give me some type of opportunity to catch something else, would you? Red breast. On to the next spot. Looking for some fish. Alrighty, we are starting to get thick up in the stuff here. Might have to get down into the creek. I think this is where we're gonna do it. Oh. Well guys, we are definitely over a mile from where we dropped off the bike. Haven't came across much. Quite a few fish here and there. Nothing sizable, which is, you know, to be expected in a creek like this. But I thought we would have been able to catch some more of the bass here. I saw quite a few of them, but they're very hard to catch. I'm gonna go up a little bit further, but it doesn't look like there's much to fish. Oh man, this is a giant sunny. Holy smokes. Look at the size of this red breast. Oh my gosh. Hold up just a second. I think this might be the prize of the day. Look at that dude. Look at the size that these freaking red breasts are getting to be down here. Unbelievable. I mean, that's one of the biggest red breasts I've ever seen. That is a big old fish. It's gonna back here, but holy smokes. What? Well, we're not gonna catch any big bass today. At least we've caught a handful of really big sunnies, man. I guess those guys are just back here thriving. All the other species seem to be struggling a little bit, but man, those sunfish are having a good old time. They're getting absolutely giant back here. I'm gonna see how much further I can go here. I think we can crawl down to the creek here. Oh, man. Well, we certainly crawled down to it. Well, here we are. I think I just saw a snakehead. You guys would not believe what I just saw in the water. That was definitely a freaking snakehead or something. There's no way I got that on camera. What the heck? Well guys, back there in the creek at the last spot I was just at, I am not kidding at all. I have no idea what I just saw, but it was not a carp. It was not a freaking sucker fish. It was not a trout. It was not a bass. No idea what the heck that fish was, but I think we have to turn around, guys. It seems we have reached the end of the line here. There is absolutely no way we can go any further. I don't even know how the heck I'm gonna get back out of this stuff. Somehow have to find our way back out of here now. Well, I forgot my way back here. So it looks like we're gonna have to fight through the forest. Find a little deer trail here. Super sketch. Definitely gonna have to check myself for ticks. Ah, seven minute itch hell. Oh, look at the size of that brain man. Oh my gosh. Look at this dude. That is a big brain man. What up, dude? Big old brain man. Cool. Did you guys know praying mantises get big enough to eat like small lizards, frogs, and birds? That's some crazy stuff. Hey, hey. Great job. Instant red breast. 
see you. Oh, there we go. Finally, another bass. Hopefully we can land this one. This one's decent. Bigger than the first one we caught. There we go. Holy smokes. Look at that, dude. That is a nice little smallmouth bass for this creek. Holy smokes. Look at that little thing he's got on his gill there. Let me take that off. It's a little gross. Ugh. I don't know what happened there. Get rid of that dude, though. Now you're good to go. Look at that. That is a decent fish for this little creek. Nice catch, man. The prize of the day. Now, if we can catch something bigger than this, I'll be very surprised. But I did see a hunkin' old bass out there. Whoa, not the cleanest release, but a release nonetheless. Nice little bass, man. I'll take him all day. Maybe we just needed to clean up some of the sunnies on the way up here. Now we can catch all the bass on the way back. Man, this is turning out to be a good day of fishing. Who would have thought? Random little adventure. Had no idea where I was gonna fish today. I just knew I had to fish. Glad we came here. And we somehow made it back out of the woods. Holy smokes, guys. We give this spot another shot. I know there's gotta be some bass hanging out in this hole. It's just gotta be. Ay, ay, ay. Well, another green sunfish. There was a nice bass out there. I missed him though. Fortunately, there we go. Another greenie. Greenies all day, apparently. Off to the next hole. Spot after spot after spot. We are fishing it all today. It's actually a nice hole I'm gonna hit here. I don't want to disturb the water too much. But I'm probably going to because I'm an oaf. Oh, there we go, fish on. Ooh, smolly. Another smolly from this hole. Man, these guys fight just so freaking hard. This is definitely not the one we called earlier. Another nice, another nice little smallmouth for this creek. They aren't big, everybody, but for this creek, Man, they are mad freaking nice. Well, off to the next spot. Well, everybody, we somehow made it back to the bike and we are making our way back out of the woods. Had myself a great day fishing out here. Those tiny little creeks are so overlooked. You know, a lot of people see a little creek like that and they're like, oh, there's nothing there. But I went there and I caught myself a ton of fish. Wasn't the easiest trek. Obviously, I had to walk through a whole bunch of weeds, seven minute itch, ticks. I'm probably gonna be picking some of those off when I get back to the house. But overall, it was definitely a great day of fishing. Now, this little creek that I'm fishing is a tributary to a bigger, more popular creek that a lot of people know of, but no one fishes the tributary. Everybody's sticking to the main creek. And I tell you, this time of year, it's gonna be a lot harder to find fish in a bigger body of water. In a small creek like the one I was fishing today, you know, those fish don't really have anywhere to go. So they're gonna be there, they're gonna be hungry, and you're gonna catch them if you go out there and fish for them. So anyway, I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you did, please scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel if you haven't already. Easter PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay tuned, and always stay fishy.